An Ithaca man was arrested today and charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance. He will be held in Ithaca City Court until his arraignment on Wednesday. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. The last day of classes is tomorrow, but the campus is already preparing for IC Kicks Back, their end of the semester event, which is going to occur right here in the Campus Center Quad. So here at the Farmer's Market, Northland Sheep Dairy is participating in the Finger Lakes Artisanal Cheese Open House this year, and they're offering free samples to the public, which seems to be a big hit. A busy day here on the Ithaca Commons proved that the economy is starting to improve, which is good news for local business owners. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. It's springtime in Ithaca, and students are heading outside to catch some rays. With gas prices the highest they've been in two years, people are looking for other ways to save money this summer. In Ithaca, I'm Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. yesterday, visitors could travel to local dairy farms for a free tour to learn how cheese is made and what gives each type its unique flavor. There were eight farms in all participating in the tour, including Northland Sheep Dairy, whose farm is located just 30 miles east of Ithaca. Well, we make sheep milk cheese. It's all raw milk cheese, and they're European-style cheeses, aged cheeses. We also sell lamb and mutton. So here at the Farmer's Market, Northland Sheep Dairy is participating in the Finger Lakes Artisanal Cheese Open House this year, and they're offering free samples to the public, which seems to be a big hit. The Artisanal Cheese Tour is a good way to draw interest and revenue for local farmers. Many local and upstate New York dairy farmers have fallen on tough times due to the economy. Milk prices have decreased and farmers have called for federal support through programs like the Milk Income Lost Contract. Local dairy sheep farmer Mary Rose Livingstone participated in the open house. She said that her business has not been damaged by the economy like others have. Well, and one of the reasons our farm exists and, and is pretty successful is that it's almost impossible now to make a living selling your milk as a commodity. You have to use your labor to add value to it. And, that, and then we direct market it ourselves. So people know, hey, it's our milk. We did all this. Here it is. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. The last day of classes is tomorrow, but the campus is already preparing for IC Kicks Back, their end of the semester event, which is going to occur right here in the Campus Center Quad. For the past five years, Student Affairs and Campus Life has sponsored a last day of classes event called IC Kicks Back. One of the things the neighbors said and our students said is that, you know, there is no alternative celebration on campus. And so if there was one, uh, maybe students wouldn't attend Prospect Street. And so uh, we initiated this event along with our student clubs and organizations and it's been a terrific alternative. The college hopes this event will help deter underage drinking. We certainly want people, if they're choosing to drink and if they're of age, uh, we want them to drink responsibly and not cause problems for themselves and, our, and other people. Uh, we've been trying to educate people about the fact that the Sheriff's Office and also IPD uh, as they always do at this time of the year, have a zero tolerance policy uh, related to uh, um, uh, drinking and uh, uh, other acts that might violate a local law ordinance. And so they're going to be out in force uh, throughout the day tomorrow and the, and the next few weekends to try to make sure that everybody's safe and that everybody's respecting the local laws and ordinances as well. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. Harvard Law professor and mentor to President Barack Obama spoke at Ithaca College Thursday evening about his relationship with President Obama and the importance of education as a way to success. One message would be very simple. Uh, you can do anything that you believe in. Uh, and that's very hard for people uh, who are new to college. But when you start thinking about it, uh, this is just the beginning of your life and all the things that can be done. Look here, we've got future senators, presidents, <laughs> CEOs, uh, and this is what it's all about. Young people who have an idea, who are not afraid to take challenges and take chances. The presentation drew a large crowd of students and also visitors of the campus that were excited to listen to his speech. Having somebody talk about Obama that knew him since, you know, law school or whatever. So it would seem interesting to see him talk about Obama on that level. Well, I, I was very interested in, and impressed with uh, Professor Ogletree's kind of down-to-earth way of describing, you know, both his relationship, you know, with Barack, now President Obama. 
Professor Ogletree was invited to Ithaca College as part of the first year featured speaker presentation in conjunction with the Office of Student Engagement and Multicultural Affairs. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. Collecting warm clothing yesterday for local families in need. The 17th annual Share the Warmth program is sponsored by Ithaca Rotary in conjunction with Catholic Charities of Tompkins Tioga. And with a tough economy, they have seen a major increase in local need within the past year. Well, it's a great service. It, it's, mm -hmm. They served 800 families last year and they think over 1,000 this year. There's a need in this community. So it's a very good program to get some good warm clothing to people in need. Cold weather items that are needed include coats, hats, and gloves of all sizes, as well as other necessities such as blankets and boots. And volunteers are always in need as well. I see tons of people, because we have a few coats up here now, but uh, not a lot. And so people know that Share the Warmth is coming. Volunteers are always welcome. I um, am always open to uh, showing people what we do here and ways that they can lend a helping hand if they have time. This annual program helps out many families in need and this year they're expecting more people than ever before. This year we're seeing a 30 to 40 percent increase in the number of people coming here for help so we're anticipating a pretty hefty increase in the number of people coming this year so I would guess Probably in the neighborhood of 12 to 1,500 families may walk through our doors this year. We have a lot of people waiting. They've been coming in and asking about coats, and we know they're waiting. Share the Warmth has 12 collection sites located at businesses throughout Ithaca with big red drop-off boxes that are hard to miss. So if you see one of these big red boxes, that's the time to drop some things in it as soon as you can. In Ithaca, Morgan Smith, Newswatch 16. Anthony Gallucci, a local activist and Ithaca native, has announced that he is running for mayor under the People's Emancipation Party. If he is elected, Gallucci plans to address the issue of homelessness in Ithaca and completely end all hydrofracking, as well as create a more locally sustainable economy. The Ithaca Planning and Development Board approved Phase 1 of the long-awaited College Town Terrace Apartments project on Tuesday night. Three workers in western Pennsylvania are injured after an explosion at a natural gas drilling well. A new punishment for drivers caught talking or texting on their cell phones has taken effect today. Drivers now face a possible two points on their license, which can lead to higher auto insurance costs and suspension of their license.